Hello there, Moltrap, uh, doing another audio commentary here on a game between uh, Daisang and Firebat Hero, and this is part of the set between, um, sorry, between uh, Korean Air Force, Rokaf, uh, also known as Team Ace, and Samsung Khan, and this should be an interesting matchup. Uh, Samsung Khan, obviously one of the two uh, top teams from last season, and uh, they've been a little bit off since they won the first championship, and uh, you know they obviously got beat in the grand finals uh, by um, by Lecaf, and so they haven't been quite doing it as well. But but still a, a very decent team, obviously. Um, Air Force Ace, obviously also the worst team statistically speaking uh, last season, did not do very well at all. But uh, still, I think they're going to do decently well. And I'm making the call right now, actually. I've already, I told this to uh, Diggity a few days ago uh, already. I'm making the call right now. Air Force is going to be in the playoffs this season. I can feel it. This is their season. They're going to they're gonna come out, and they're going to they're gonna accomplish it. And there's a couple reasons for that that I'm thinking of. First of all, is because they have changed the format, actually, um, where the format now is that there's going to be, they basically instead of doing two different like sets, two different seasons, and then the the, the uh, winners of both seasons playing each other, they've changed the format so that now they just play one double length season, and uh, at the end of that, the top six teams are considered to be in the playoffs. I think three, four, five, and six uh, play off against each other uh, until one of them comes out. Uh, I think it's like three versus five and four versus six and then winners or some, something crazy like that. And then uh, after that, the winner of all those plays against the number two team and then the winner of that match plays against the number one team. So uh, in order to get into the playoffs, Rokaf only actually has to get into sixth place in, uh, in the league. And I think that they're capable of it. I, I'm pretty sure that they're capable of it actually because the second reason that I was thinking of it is because they actually have a presentable lineup now and and last season if you went and looked at their games uh, sure they only won like three games but uh, something I think half I think it was exactly half of their games were either a win or a loss that was very 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 close uh, in other words they it went to an ace match uh, you know, I don't, I don't remember exactly how many games. Let's say there was 22 games in a season or something like that. I, th I think it's something along that, along those lines. Um, then they lost a, um, they won three, but then eight more went to an ace match, and it was a close loss. And uh, I, those were very excruciating losses all the time. But that means that they're actually capable of winning games uh, more than their stats really show. And one of the things that I think has changed for this season is the fact that this player right here, Daezang, Daezang, I think, I guess, Daezang, uh, whatever you, however you want to pronounce it, has has really kind of stepped up his game recently. And that's why I'm pretty excited about this game, and I'm honestly expecting Daezang to win uh, this matchup. Uh, he, first of all, he got out of both of his offline qualifiers groups, uh, so he had to face a lot of... Um, Opponents to to get through that that was that was and a lot of veteran players did not get through the offline qualifiers uh, and he got through both offline qualifiers one for each star league and then he unfortunately he didn't make it through um, NBC Survivor but he did make it through OSC beating some pretty decent players in OSC uh, so he's going to be going on in in that star league as well so he's been playing pretty 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 decently lately uh, I think I said pretty three times in a row there stutter stutter stutter. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited to see Daezang kind of stepping up his play. And that means that the Rokaf lineup, they've got Boxer and Oversky and Daezang can all win games. And uh, they're, obviously their lineup is smaller in the first place, their roster, so they can't really... Uh, there's not really other, anyone else to put in. And I'm sure they'll probably you know leave one of those three out every... Uh, uh, match or two maybe, but but still, uh, it could easily get uh, one, two, and four uh, games and, and take the set, or they could easily also, um, you know, ha ha take the 2v2. They, they did win some 2v2s last season, not a lot, but they did win some, and then have Oversky and Daezang, or Boxer and Oversky take a couple wins as well. Um, so it's it's looking very, very doable for them to, uh, to, to be successful this season. I'm really, I'm 
I'm looking forward to seeing if they can actually uh, pull that out or not. And uh, <laughs> I know I've been rambling for a long, long time here to set this up, but it does look like it is going to be a long game. Uh, so uh, I, it, it's pretty obvious what's going on. Uh, we've got pretty standard play here from both players. Going for the observatory first uh, for Dazing. We're probably going to see him put down robotic support bay pretty soon. No, he's gone for another Nexus, actually. Um, maybe because he's, he's probably figuring that uh, Firebat Hero has, has gone for the expansion. It's pretty become pretty standard play lately to see this uh, this uh, one factory into expansion build. It's it's like almost every single game against Protoss we see this. And uh, <laughs> that probe not going to get a scout in. He's not going to be able to verify, but uh, he's probably assuming that there's there's um, the expansion there. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so Firebat here doing that standard thing, and Dizang going for the the uh, couple gates of goons, and just kind of being a little bit safe there, getting the observatory in case there's vultures. There probably will be vultures pretty soon. Although it, uh, Firebat here has chosen to go for the siege tanks first, uh, which is I don't, I won't say it's non-standard. It's it's uh, pretty usual, but it's it's not the the norm lately. Lately we've been seeing mostly. Uh, just going straight into spider mines uh, to to protect your expansion, and instead he's kind of utilizing the map here and using getting those siege tanks and blocking off that door uh, instead to to get his expansion there. Um, yeah. In any case, this is one of the new maps, by the way, obviously, and uh, this is called uh, Weathering Heights, and it's a four-person map, and you've already kind of seen what the the main uh, layout of the map is there. Uh, you know, a little choke point and then a little expansion with another choke point there that we saw uh, Firebat here blocking off. And yeah, there's the, ro the robotic support bay uh, up for, for Dizang, so he's going to have re Reavers out pretty soon. It looks like Firebat Hero. Firebat Hero is a very, very smart player, by the way. Um, I, I, I really do actually like his playing style. Um, I'm now kind of not sure what I feel about him as a person, though, because I used to kind of not like him because he was such a, a well, a uh, sorry, cursing coming up here, a freaking dumbass uh, in his stupid ceremonies and very disrespectful in general. But uh, from something I actually heard on Rise, Rise did some more um, FP VOD commentaries, and they, they were really good also, by the way. Uh, go check that out. Uh, but he was talking about how Firebat Hero was joking around with the commentators and stuff when, when he was on uh, BNet Attack and stuff like that. And that's, I have to admit, that's kind of cool of him. Um, we'll see. Oh, Reaver coming in here. He does not have turrets in the back, so he's going to be able to drop out that Zealot. It'll take the hits, but there's a lot of tanks there, and it looks like that he did not get hit the Reaver there, but, uh, he, oh, a lot of stuff going down there. He's going to be able to fight this Reaver off pretty quickly, though. Um, he's got, he loses only a few SCVs, some tanks, a couple tanks, a few Marines, so not too big of losses there for Firebat Hero, but, uh, I think the, the trade-off is still going to go slightly in favor of Dezang, uh, there. By the way, I know I'm giving like a crap load of, uh, of background information on this game before getting too much into the actual commentating, but, but the one other thing I did want to mention in this match is that, like I said, Dezang has been playing really, really well lately, and he just actually beat Up Magic, totally owned Up Magic, uh, who was a very decent Terran player the other day, and on the other hand, Firebat Hero is 1 for 10 of his last games versus his last 10 games versus Protoss. Now, they've been against damn difficult Protoss, uh, the likes of Free and Cal and Stork, but nonetheless, he hasn't been playing well against Protoss at all, so that's another thing to take into account. So, I think I've gotten all the background information that I wanted to, to mention about this whole thing out of the way now, so I'm going to try and get more to the game here. Although, uh, luckily, they had, did have just a kind of a long building up session in the very beginning of the game, not much harassment uh, going on in the beginning to speak of, so uh, I, I, didn't, I don't think I really missed much there. In any case, by the way, you, the map is now pretty much revealed, as you can kind of see on the minimap how it works. Um, the expansions are all... there's expansions at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock, and I believe uh, 9 and 3 as well, so the, the, the sides, the middles of, of the sides, uh, there's expansions there that you can get as well. And they're not very protected at all. They're they're kind of open. And then there's these um, kind of circular expansions. You can see the circles of minerals going around the middle of the map. And uh, 
those are they're very very strange. Oh 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 those mines are there. Oh I think he saw the mine going down. That's a, that's unfortunate for Firebat Hero. If he hadn't seen the mine going down, he might have tried to drop something in there. Um, although it's not likely because he also saw the turret, and uh, he probably wouldn't have been too willing to, to risk the the shuttle by going in there like that. Um, but in any case, so those those middle expansions, there's a lot of minerals and two gas in those, those circular expansions, but they're very difficult to hold, especially against Terran, because you can see that there's ridges right above them, behind them. Uh, Terran would be very, very, very easy for them to um, to just set up a couple tanks behind the, the ridge and just own those expansions pretty badly. Uh, you'd have to hold the middle in order to protect uh, those circular expansions. Uh, and so that would be that would be pretty tricky to do. So we see um, Firebat Hero uh, macroing up as well as, as Dazing. Dazing has his, his expansion up and running in the top left corner. He's he's decided to uh, opt for taking one of the uh, 